You're such an asshole. I literally went golfing today. Came back, answered the emails in the morning. And I went golfing. I ran so and I came back and they all decided to pay, which is good, thank you, but now I have my work cut out for me. Which means no golfing or mountain climbing or motorcycling for Cleary tomorrow. I do get to change oil tomorrow. Get to change oil tomorrow. Which I look forward to because it's kind of fun. You almost feel like a mechanic even though you're not. Hi Aaron, the last semester of my master's degree in computer science, I'll be studying abroad in Tartu, Estonia. Normally I study in Berlin and Germany. Tartu is far, far smaller than Berlin. It, Berlin, it has 100,000 citizens. And Berlin, Berlin, fuck, can't talk today. Berlin, about 3.8 million. In Estonia, I will have a job at a research institution. The results from my work there will be my master's thesis. Money will be no big issue as I earn a full salary in Estonia that should cover all my costs. Additionally, I get paid a little, 450 euros, from a German professor and saved up a few thousand euros. Okay. <clears throat> Have you any advice on how, of how I can make the most of my semester abroad? Should I look to for an apart should I look for apartment for myself or should I share a flat? I would like a video response. Best regards. Stefan. Since I, this may be useful, I am 24 and in a serious relationship. All right, well, the girl will wait because you got to get your career going on. So I had a couple questions here. Uh, come on, let's scroll down. Good. Uh, how much of your personal belongings are you bringing and will you have a car there or will you not? Also, how much of your day will be spent interning, studying, and going to school versus how much free time you have? Also, what languages do you speak? And he responded... Uh, I would like video response. I will work a normal 40-hour week. Additionally, in Estonia, there is a minimum of 28 days paid vacation. Oh, good. So I will have 14 days of paid vacation in the six months. Uh, I don't, I don't bring a car with me, but can rent a car there. Cost of living and for things like cars there is cheaper than in Germany. I do speak English and German fluently. I started to learn Estonian. Oh, wow! I'm surprised they even have their own language. That small little country. What, all 400 of them speak it? It's, but I'm only able to talk about the most basic things like purchase something in a restaurant. Okay. Um, if that is all your time line is, I would say if you have a car, how far is it? It's not that far. I know you Europeans think everything's far away. But in the United States, it's like, ah, it's only across Texas. It's a day and a half straight drive. Let's look up Berlin, Germany. To Tartu, Estonia. That's 17 hours. You could drive that in two days. Um, now, <clears throat> you may not be able to bring your car to Estonia or drive around Moscow. <sighs> Plus, you guys do have pretty good transportation, but then, then it kind of farts out the further east you get. Hmm. Alright, well, let me give you my general advice. It's, 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 I'm wondering whether or not you should bring your car. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, let's get to your specific question. Have you any advice on how I can make the most of my semester abroad? Should I look for an apartment for myself or should I share a flat? Alright. Uh, if you're not bringing a lot of personal stuff and you don't have to worry about getting stolen, I'd be okay fine you share a flat. If you're bringing a lot of important stuff, stuff that might get stolen, and you really want to focus on your studies, and you don't want to be worried about it, you know what? Spend the extra money on apartments so you don't have to worry about it. That's the other thing. So if money's not an issue, um, and, and uh, you really need your study time, you really need to be alone, make sure you okay, fine, go ahead, be by yourself with a flat. But keep in mind, just because you don't have a flatmate doesn't mean your neighbor ain't going to be a loud asshole. Uh, so what I would be, you know... If you know someone you really trust, okay, go ahead and share it. But if not, err on the side of caution. Get yourself your own place, and that will just leave your neighbors that you have to deal with. But then also, you know, go around at night on like a Friday or Saturday night and see if people at that, that apartment building are loud or they're quiet or what. Um, so that's, that's the first thing there. Uh, the second thing, though, on how to make the most of your semester abroad... Dude, I just travel all around. Now, 
what that would mean to me is I'd have my car and I'd drive to, you know, I'd hit Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, you're already in. I'd maybe take a boat across over to Finland and Sweden. Um, I'd drive to Moscow. I'd check out Moscow. Uh, but if you don't have a car or it's going to be, you know, legally not possible for you to have a car in Estonia or there's too much registration costs, whatever, there's too many regulatory, legal, or financial costs in getting your car to Estonia, then I would definitely be taking the train. I'd be taking the train everywhere you could. Uh, you got yourself 14 days paid off. You don't have to study. It sounds like all you got to do is work your 40 hours a week uh, and you got weekends off. Oh, dude. So I would, I would definitely, um, you're going to have two main areas of time you're going to have to fill up. One is going to be your nights. So I would definitely get to know the town uh, of Tartu and Estonia. Get to know that locally. Then on your weekends, uh, six months, six times four, 24, 25, 26, 26 weekends. Um, you can't go out every weekend because of your budget, obviously. But if you, I do like a week in Moscow just to check it out. What else is out in that area? My, my short answer is that I would travel. I would travel all over. Well, maybe not Belarus. That looks corrupt as hell. Um, yeah, you're Tartu, you're all the way up there. There's St. Petersburg. That's cool. Go to St. Petersburg. Helsinki's right across. Tallinn, that's the largest uh, 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 town in Estonia. Stockholm is right there. You could take the boat. You know, Helsinki one weekend, St. Petersburg the other weekend, Tallinn the next weekend, Stockholm another weekend. That might maybe a three-day weekend. You go down to Riga. Yeah, uh, Vilnius is Lithuania. Stay out of Belarus. Poland, I don't know. Where's Warsaw? That might be a long train ride. Oh, damn it, it's all in Polish. Which one's, po which one's Warsaw, guys? Help me out. Lodz? Oh, there's Warsaw. Looks like it's right on the main drag. You could drive down there if you got your car. Uh, let's go satellite. Mm, doesn't look like a lot of mountains. Um... Man, maybe you could ride a motorcycle out there. But yeah, <clears throat> I'd use the time to explore that area. I didn't realize Helsinki was that close. You got some major towns you could go check out over the weekend. Uh, so I would definitely hit St. Petersburg. That is huge history. I don't know if you're a history buff. But man, uh, the history of St. Petersburg and um, uh, Peter the Great, that's interesting unto itself. Helsinki's right there. Talon's there. Stockholm's there. The Baltic's main uh, towns are all within, what is that? That's four, five, eight, nine, ten hour drive. And then you got Moscow. Uh, how far is it from Tartu to Moscow? Moscow. Moscow, Russia. How long of a drive is that? Ten hours? Why is that ten hours? The other is... Let's do like a look at the train. How long does the train take? Oh, you got to go to St. Petersburg. That's 17 hours. You might as well take the train. And what do you at long range? I guess you just go more into Russia if you want. Yeah, I would. You know what? And then if you ever get homesick, you go go to Berlin. But I would definitely be traveling. So first. Uh, Start to get to know Estonia first. Get to know Tartu. You know, the most so you get get your this is where you get your groceries. Oh, here's some people, maybe get an established network of friends. Uh, find out what the local people do. I don't know, dancing or whatever it is they do. Um, if you've read Rusha's book, um, what did, did he ever do Bang Estonia? I'd pick up Rusha's books on the Baltics just to learn about nightlife and stuff like that. But then I would just go to Helsinki, Stockholm, Moscow, and set up like a three or four day weekend for each, depending on how far it, you get. Uh, do a little bit of reconnaissance first. Don't like, oh, I'm gonna spend a week in Helsinki. Well, spend a weekend there first, all right? How far is it, how long does it take you to get to Helsinki? I bet you there's a little boat that takes it. Helsinki, Finland. Tartu to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, drive. It's only five hours. That includes a ferry. 
Yeah, round includes a ferry. You do the train. Oh, there's got to be a train or something. Yeah, just explore the area, man. Just go check that out. So I'd say do a weekend in each little town. And if you really like Helsinki, you really like Stockholm, and you really like Moscow, and you got some, you know, save up some time. Like if you do a rocket run, just check. You get your weekends off anyway. Save your vacation time. Go to Helsinki for a day and a half. Check it out. Don't really spend too much time. Just look around. Just look around. Go see what you like. Stockholm, same thing. Check it out. Look around. Look around. Moscow, same thing. Look around. Look around. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, man, I really like Moscow. That was a cool place. All right, now take some vacation time and go to Moscow. Of course, now you're never going to be sacrificing or, or, or cutting slack on your job. Right? You have to work, do, do the right thing. You're, you're there first and foremost for your education, your career. But then with your, your daytime, your free time, I would definitely be going. How far is it from, you could even maybe make it, you get out of work at 5? Tallinn, Estonia, how far is the drive? Is that what, 3 hours, 2 hours? The train looks like it's 2 hours. The car looks like it's 2 and a half hours. Dude, just take the train up there. Check it out, have a beer, go back, wake up the next day and say, where'd you go? Oh, I went to town. Now, here's another thing that might happen. <clears throat> you might become like my buddy Sadiq. Sadiq came from East India. People kept saying, it's Pun it's not Punjab, that's West India. What are you talking about East India? That's, it's like, no, we call it East India to differentiate between East Indians and American Indians. So we call it East India. But the country of India, he was from India. And uh, he came over to the United States. And he became quite popular among his cohorts and workers because he was the only guy that ever went out. He left the commune. Now, you academics, you never leave the fucking campus. You don't travel. You don't check shit out. You don't kiss girls. You don't drink beer. You're like, oh, study, study, study. Oh, work, work, work. Oh, study, study, study. Oh, work, work, work. And he was like, no, I want to learn how to swing dance. I want to learn what whiskey is. I want to eat food. I want to play kickball. And we took him sledding. He never saw, I don't think he ever saw snow before. God, poor guy injured himself. Uh, but after six months, all of a sudden, Sadiq knew about the area. He's like, oh yeah, this is a place to go, and that's a place to go, and this is going on, and that's going on. And that served him very well when it came, not necessarily to promotions, but when people said, oh, who do we know here? And they, so all of a sudden, he's talking to bosses. He's talking to higher-ups. And like, well, where should we go? Oh, we should go here. Oh, well, who knows this town? Oh, go talk to Sadiq. And he just had to have a lot more fun. Now, I don't know if he necessarily got promoted, but it didn't hurt his career either. So instead of just sitting there in Tartu, which I'm fine, Tartu is, well, what's going on in do? Let's see, what is there to do in Tartu? I bet you it's going to be a bunch of come to the city center and celebrate the Wolfhound Festival. What is there to do in Tartu? Ten best things to do in Tartu. TripAdvisor. Yeah, churches, cathedrals, points of interest, monuments and statues, museums. <laughs> the AHAA Science Center. That looks boring as hell. Tartu Old City. Tartu Universal Botanical Gardens. The Kissing Students Fountain. This looks boring as hell. Toy Museum. That might be something cool to check out. The, the Printing and Paper Museum. Okay, you need to travel the fuck out of Tartu. Okay, you need to get the fuck out. Tartu University, St. John's Church. That looks nice. Tartu. The Sculpture Bronze Pig. Do me a favor. If you are there, can you send me a picture and email it to me of the Sculpture Bronze Pig? I just got to see this thing. This is just the Sculpture of a Bronze Pig. I see it right here. I want to see one of my clients take a picture of the Sculpture Bronze Pig. Don't send me a picture of the Father-Son Sculpture. Please do not send me a picture of that. That, that I don't, I don't want to ever see that again. Okay, yeah, you need to travel. That uh, reminds me of Craigie Island from Father Ted. So that's what I would do. You're there to do reconnaissance. You're there to explore. You're not there to find the love of your life. You know, well, you got a girlfriend right now. Have your girlfriend. Look, dude, go visit your girlfriend once in a while. All right? She's in Berlin. It's a 17. Just have, have meet, in, meet in Warsaw. Have her come up. All right? Um, so don't forget her. Uh, but 
Yeah, I just check out the Baltics, and I check out Helsinki, and I check out Stockholm, and I check out Moscow. And send me a picture of the bronze pig. I want a fucking picture of that bronze pig. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.